these are the colours that you'll need for your roses is Naphthol Red Light Burgundy and Naphthol Crimson. You can also use Cadmium Orange to do the highlights or you can use Vermilion. I've also put some burnt umber there and you can tone your colours down if you need to. We're going to dip our brush into the Magic Mix. and in around there where the roses will be for the saucer. Now there's two ways of doing this here. You can leave a white, a lighter gap, some of the background showing through, or you could put a little bit of a dark line there just to say where the saucer shape will be. So you can, you've got two options there. I'll just put a bit more onto that one. Make sure the coverage is enough. If you use too much of the Magic Mix, you will get a more transparent look. Add the, the petals to the background section in just little short choppy strokes. Blend on your palette. Remember this is going to be the brightest one. Now at the bottom petals, are usually in a little bit angular shape. But we want to use naphthol crimson across these petals. Naphthol crimson is the medium coloured mix, so we're starting off with the medium colour and put these. Sometimes we can change the angles of these, these later, so just get some little V shapes into there. Use the burgundy for the dark to make a line to say that that's dark going underneath there on that petal. And there. Side load a little burgundy down to darken in those pieces where the petals to the base of the rose. Now on the outside edges of the petals, I want you to pick up naphthol red and I want you to brighten these outside of these petals here with the naphthol red. The ne we will be brightening them up a little bit more a little later. And what we need to do here is just darken this, this section here just a little bit and we're going to be using burgundy. So you need this to be dark to make sure that the light colours will show up. Now we're going to add burgundy and naphthol red light to our brush and pull the strokes around towards the centre where the stem comes out. We're going to pull the brush strokes around towards there. And the same on this side. And when you pull the ones from this side, make sure that they go in between the other ones. And you can come out over the top of that petal with this bottom one. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Now the part that we need to do now is to do some little strokes around the top of here to, to give you the look of the top of the petals.